Well, we all paid 787 billion bucks in taxpayer cash for that massive stimulus package that was supposed to create jobs. Turns out the National Endowment for the Arts is getting a rather big slice of the pie and it is going to things like the arts. Okay, National Endowment of the Arts. But wait until you see what the arts are. The theater presenting, wait for it, Perverts Put Out. You get the idea just from this title and picture your taxpayer dollars hard at work. $50,000 of public money going to another theater that promises this movie called Thundercrack. It is so offensive we could barely find anything in the trailer that was suitable to put on TV and we definitely cannot air the audio uh, which is not anywhere near close to PG-13. You're paying for it folks. So what else is the NEA doing with your money and how is this creating jobs? Congressman Cliff Stearns is a Republican from Florida. I should point out he is a longtime critic of the NEA. Congressman, I assume it's because of things like this. For sure, they have a long history of offensive, indecent art. Uh, we were successful in cutting back uh, their funding, uh, but now under the Democrat uh, majority, that funding has increased dramatically. It's up to $190 million. And for them to get a $50 million grant through the stimulus package and use this for hundreds and hundreds of uh, uh, earmarks for the uh, not-for-profit organization, particularly in San Francisco, where that uh, offensive and indecent art is being displayed both uh, in public houses and live performances as well as in movies. Uh, these aren't just uh, kinky movies. These are horror movies involving animals and uh, the, the reprehensibleness of the National Endowment for Arts for doing this cannot even be emphasized uh, strong enough because uh, their history has shown and they have told us they'll stop this thing and to see them using taxpayers money today to continue this uh, offensive art is just uh, outrageous. Now our viewers should know the congressman does not overstate the case in terms of what the money is going toward. That one video that I showed you that we couldn't play the sound on, that $25,000 of taxpayer money went to the San Francisco Cinematheque that was, um, and that's the place where they're putting on this film Thundercrack, which we can't show you, but this is how they describe it. Kinky art porno horror, horror film complete with four men, three women, and a gorilla. Ecstasy so great that all heaven and hell becomes just one big old Shangri-La. That's what $25,000 of our taxpayer money is paying for. Then there's another twenty-five grand going to Jess Curtis slash Gravity Inc. in San Francisco for the Symmetry Project, where nude couples are mounted on each other in various poses, and in the first pictures, nude children are present with nude adults. I think a lot of Americans would have a real problem knowing that their taxpayer dollars that they work very hard for are now being funneled to support such causes. What can be done? Well, lots of things can be done. We can uh, reduce uh, the NEA funding, uh, attempt to do it again. Uh, you know, all these projects are in uh, Speaker Pelosi's district. I think one thing we should also do is uh, have letters uh, written to uh, Pelosi, which I intend to do, and also try and get uh, members on the Democrat side, particularly the blue dogs who are involved now with health care, uh, to consider some of the antithetical projects that are being funded in Speaker Pelosi's district and try and curb the NEA from uh, continuing to award these type of offensive and decent uh, funding to these organizations. And what happens, Congressman, with respect to Vice President Joe Biden? He was supposed to be overseeing this whole thing. President Obama promised us that he would oversee. In fact, here's what the president said about who'd be watching the stimulus dollars. And that's why I've asked Vice President Biden to lead a tough, unprecedented oversight effort. Because nobody messes with Joe. There you have it. The president, Joe Biden, and Nancy Pelosi, who you just mentioned, yay, nobody messes with Joe. He's going to watch the stimulus dollars. Congressman, is anybody watching these stimulus dollars? You know, does anyone care? Is there any sort of moral component to where they go and where they don't go? There appears none. And I think uh, Joe Biden is not the one to watch it. Uh, he has a lot of uh, different engagements, and he's involved with foreign policy. Uh, this uh, oversight is a joke. If the president thinks Joe Biden is going to watch this oversight, it's a uh, tremendous joke on the president, and I think he'd be uh, very foolish to continue to have these kinds of projects continue to be funded 
Uh, they're not only antithetical to American values, but they're reprehensible. And I think any American that would realize that his tax dollars are going into San Francisco for those projects would be outraged. You know, the NEA has come out and defended its choice, saying uh, we just gave the money to individuals and groups that had already received funding in the past and already passed muster. And they said these did help save jobs uh, for artists in the San Francisco area, which is a can which it does promote the stimulus plan. In other words, jobs were saved. I'll give you the final word, sir. Well, we don't want to promote jobs in kinky horror film pornographic uh, live performances. That's not the purpose of the stimulus package. We're looking at long-term lasting jobs and not uh, funding um, groups that are, are really destroying the culture of this country. Congressman Cliff Stearns, thanks so much for coming on with your insights on it. We appreciate it. And that's why I've asked Vice President Biden to lead a tough, unprecedented oversight effort, because nobody messes with Joe.